I started the series thinking that the Aztecs and their Eagle Warriors were going to be the biggest threat to the entire campaign. It turns out it's actually Gandhi and his elephants, so uh, that's great. Because this game is very quickly becoming more than just kind of a, a regional war, um, it's becoming a huge, massive war. I don't know, a continental war? Maybe not. That's a little bit early to say that, Drew. I don't know about all that, but... Uh, we've got we've got combat going on just north of Cairo. We've got combat going on obviously north of Mecca, and then you know I built a few galleys. Um, I was hoping to explore, but unfortunately Gandhi just wants to I don't know be a pain in my booty. I guess I, that's that sounds weird, but that, yeah, he wants to be annoying. And uh, at this point, I said in the last video, if the Aztecs declare war on me, boom, game over. It's done. It's done because uh, he has uh, I think even a, even a bigger army. I think just about okay. No. He, he has, he's actually fallen a little bit behind India. Oh, fantastic. India is getting bigger. And, uh, you know, Montezuma still has quite a bit of troops himself, though. But, yeah, I mean, if he declares war on me, game's over. It's done. Because uh, I have nothing really protecting Cairo. Now, luckily, you know, the plan, the plan is, no matter what, to, to build a huge military. Whether, whether India was going to come after me or not, I needed to build a big military because that's the only way I would have gotten Gandhi to peace out with me. Uh, but at this point, it's like, oh, he's coming out. He's coming at me with like some hardcore units. So I, I'm I'm lucky in that sense. But at the same time, I cannot afford to lose anything. I cannot lose anything. I've got to kill his units, and I've got to continue to grow my own military strength. And maybe, just maybe, we can peace out with them. You know, soon. Maybe even maybe even scare him a little bit. If we scare him, that would be great. Uh, I am having amenity issues, of course, in Cairo because India gives off amenity issues. So, yeah, he is not messing around. He's going to just go straight in for the flank, and uh, I should have considered that. So our heavy our heavy chariots don't... Um, they are not giving off... What is that thingy called? That thingy. Zone of control. They have no zone of control. Um, and this is exactly what I wanted from this, from this dude. So I distracted this elephant, which is good. And now, Bamo. Okay, so I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to steal this unit, so let's do that. Bam. And what I might want to do, I'm going to try to get him to continue to come after me. I'm going to come across the river. We have got to start doing some major... This is what I'm more concerned about, though, this guy. I don't know if he's going to pillage my, my tiles, though. I'm not sure if he'd be willing to do that. There's no real good terrain that I can go after him on you know what we'll have to leave this elephant alone yeah I think we should leave this guy alone what I can do though what I can do is uh, I mean I could take a little hit out of him a little little bit of chunk of health out of him bam there you go now these are melee units luckily they're big <laughs> they're big ass elephants that that don't have uh, any sort of archery on them so that's good uh, but anyways so we're gonna I need to be very, very careful with this guy, though. I, I can I can do either two shots. I think we need to kill... Yeah, we can kill this guy. So we're going to kill our first elephant. Yay! I, I feel horrible for saying that, actually. I like elephants. Just not in this game. This game is freaking me out, the elephants. Oh, that's so sad. I feel so bad right now. Do you hear that noise? Oh, he's not dead. Maybe I don't feel bad. Uh, but no, it's okay. Because I still have this guy. So, you know, with this heavy chariot, I might want to just see... Yeah, there he goes. He's going down. We just legalist that elephant. Cool. Um, so you stay there. I'm just proud we actually took one of these suckers down. I was getting really freaked out. Good. Gilgamesh is over here helping out with this war chariot, too. So that's his unique unit. Jeez, we have been surrounded by other AIs that have early game unique units. It's crazy. This is such a crazy start. I can't, I can't stop saying it. It's such a crazy start. Um, we have to ignore this stuff. I know the ancient walls would be good defense, but it won't help us out overall. I don't think Gandhi consider. I don't think AIs consider it when piecing out, you know, your defense, your walls. They they for sure have to consider military strength. So that's why I think pumping out heavy chariots, like I said, is a good idea because we 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 can upgrade these guys to Mamluks or Mamluks, whatever you want to call them. We're busting out archers here in Mecca, so I think that's why I want to go heavy chariots here. Who got a promotion? Oh good, you guys got a promotion. And of course, instant healing is back and better than ever. Well, it's fine. These uh these coastal units, these these units on the coast can't can't hurt us. 
So that's fine. And we're acting as like a huge distraction for the AI. So that's also like the fantastic part. This this is ridiculous though. I can't... How is it that my ships... I know they're not getting any health, you know, chipped off here. But how is it that my ships can't take down a Spearman? That's, that's ridiculous. I should probably promote them. I mean, promotions on higher difficulties are just so important. They are really... Oh gosh. Okay, so now we have another one. Well, at least we took down our first elephant that's that's the good thing that's the that's the beauty here um i think we need to back up i think we should probably back up here this is rough terrain this is a forest like this guy can attack oh he can't he cannot attack do i have any fresh heavy chariots did you get a promotion nobody well that's unfortunate all right so i want to back up here because i kind of have to you guys, I, I don't want to move you at all because I'd rather you sit here and heal. Um, you're going to be outside of our territory, so you're going to heal a little bit slower than you would if I moved you. But I'd rather you just heal right now rather than move than wait a whole other turn. I don't want to do that. It's too much. So luckily, I think we've kind of caught the AI here where they're going to make a pretty big mistake. And uh, they're probably going to continue to try, and embark, try to embark because they're at a choke point. I'm so lucky. Like, I'd be getting... I'd be getting my butt handed to me right now to be honest if um if i didn't have this choke point it's amazing and we just got a settler i i completely forgot about that whole part yes the whole point of this was to get the settler so the elephant is here hmm i'm gonna come here see what i can't do uh with this guy there's nothing really i can do I, I need, I'm probably going to get hit by one elephant, so I'm going to go up here and go by the weaker one. Because why not? That sounds like a good plan to me. And uh, I'll bring in another archer for more support. I've got, oh I've, oh, I've got a lot of archers. This is this is why, I mean, archers, range units in general, just so good for defense. That's why I tried to spam these suckers out, as well as the ward, or the heavy chariots, whatever. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Same thing. Uh, this guy's going to have to wait. Okay, stop it. No, I'm, I'm done with you. We're fortifying you, and you're going to sleep. Next turn. Okay, so let's see what he tries here. Okay, that's good. He's going to somewhat retreat. Um, I can take on this Indian this Indian warrior. That's that's totally fine. I'm not worried about that. Who? What happened here? I, I, I just heard someone get stabbed. <laughs> like, from behind me. It felt like someone got stabbed behind me. Good, good. Okay, so I don't see any more. Oh, crap. Holy crap. Oh, Bamo! It's religion time! Look at that! Wasn't even paying attention to our religion, and uh, we still got it. That's cool. So hopefully this dude doesn't get taken. That would be that would be terrible. Yeah, that would be really terrible. How many how many archers how many strikes would we have? I think we might have a chance of taking this guy down. Maybe. I'm gonna take the chance. I'm gonna take a pretty big chance here. And we'll see and we'll see what we can do. 16. I mean, if we're just doing 16 damage, that's not going to be enough. And and this is the only one that has a promotion. So we for sure need to pull this the settler back towards Mecca, not not north of the the natural wonder. That will not go well for us at all. I'm going to leave the war chariots, heavy chariots. Dude, dude, I can't stop saying it. I cannot stop saying it. We've got a lot of archers. Maybe we should finish the traitor. Uh, or even ancient walls might not be a bad idea too. Especially in this city. Because if we can pull them into this tile. You're talking about multiple range attacks from the city as well. Uh, I don't I don't want to. But I think it kind of is a good idea. Because I'm more concerned about India right now. Than anybody else. So you've attacked. You've attacked. I, I would probably die. Let's have him attack. If he wants to attack us again because he's... Ooh. Okay. I, sh I should I should also maybe consider another galley because this is three units that are embarking. I mean, we can grind away. We can completely grind away at India's military. He will always embark. So this is, this is good. Uh, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch it. I'm going to switch it. I think we're going to be able to handle it. To be honest, I think we can handle this part of the battle. I don't know if we can handle... I mean, we should be just wiping through India's 
whole thing right now. And this is a continent's map mode, so I should be building a navy anyways. I mean, Mecca was settled on the coast, so I should be using that. There you go. If you want to attack me across the river in a hill, uh, you go ahead and do that, buddy. You go for it, man. So good. I mean, our, our luckily... Yep, he retreated. Okay, that is what I was hoping for. So that's a big thing to consider with the AI now. Uh, the, the AI will retreat. Oh my gosh, how many elephants are you going to get? How many of these elephantes do you have? Ah, I had to go swordsman here, even though I didn't have iron, because I, I, I want, if I get crossbowmen, boom, we're safe. We're super safe. I did not build ancient walls, though. Hmm. So here's, here's the, uh, yeah, so here's the mamluk. It's a heavy, a uh, cav, cav unit, so I'd be able to upgrade all of these guys to our mamluks, and we can go crazy at that point. So that's why I like w that we're building this stuff. Maybe, you know what? I think that is where we need to go. I think we need to go shipbuilding. Seven turns, we've boosted it. A range boat would, uh, would, I think, keep us even more safe. And I think we should be able to maybe take this guy down. Yeah, I'll rush after him, too. I'll chase his, I'll chase him down. Um, maybe I, yeah, 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 yeah. unless he gets a promotion, that's where I'm kind of screwed. Like, I need to decide now. Yeah, we should get the kill by moving forward here. And then moving this guy here. And then there we go. So this guy's retreating. I, I don't want him to retreat. We, again, we want to get as many kills as possible to keep India out of this game. Boom, dead. That makes me feel terrible, though. Like, man, the, the noises that the elephant makes when they die? Jeez. Can we make it a little bit less, a little bit more friendly for Axis, please? Okay, so uh, we're going to find the religion. Let's do that. So we've got our religion, we've got to choose our beliefs. This guy is screwed. This guy is going to be super screwed right now. I mean, I'll try to protect him, but it's really not much we can do. And good, so I have already checked what I want to settle. Um, I've considered this, this isn't bad. But there's not like that many resources. Oh, there are horses, and they're assault. Yeah, this is kind of what I was thinking about. Um, but at the same time... I, I don't want the Aztecs to have four cities. Right now, the Aztecs are in a bad situation. I mean, I, I've said this the entire game, and it's actually for two reasons. Naturally, whenever you go up against the Aztecs, it's a waiting game. you got to wait, because they're really powerful in the very beginning with these, you know, warrior placement units. But even more so in this scenario, because they're in the freaking tundra. You know, so they've got, they're making nothing in terms of yields. Nothing. Look look at this. Well, that's not a bad top, but that's because it's first. But just, just crap, you know, so... For the most part, we will, and, and especially because I've got this natural wonder next to me, so it's even more than uh, than normal. So I outweight Montezuma, and maybe I can take him out. But I kind of want to settle here. Actually, not even, because I would like to settle like here, grab more furs, grab extra incense. It, it just, we'd be lacking housing. That's the thing. But they're good tiles. They're good tiles overall. This could pull me into a war with Montezuma, so I need to be careful with that. Now, I don't need to make the choice yet. I'm going to pull back. We have to go to Cairo either way. So, it's okay. Um, I am... I don't really know what to do with you, to be honest. I kind of want to just get some vision, just to see how bad it is over here. So, I, I might do that. Okay. So, uh, obviously, this is the perfect situation to go defensive tactics. Whenever, whenever I was playing Civ Six on, on Prince difficulty, I was not... I was like, oh, that, that would be cool, but I'm never on my, you know, never on my heels. This is a perfect situation where I am totally on my heels. So defensive tactics would be really good. So let's do that. And um, a builder could keep us safe from Monty. Because we, we did, oh, we still haven't grown towards the furs, which is ridiculous. I'm losing a lot of money, too. Well, I'm not making much money. So I'd need to buy that tile. I think I could probably buy both, though. How much does this builder cost? 240 Nope, never mind. I am totally wrong about that. I do not like that it takes five turns, though. I do not like that. But those other things that I could improve... I don't want to do this at all, but I think I should. Um, in terms of our policies, plus housing, that might be useful because we do have two specialty districts inside of the capital. Reduces the cost of purchasing a tile by 20%. We actually might need that for a split second more. There's nothing else that I need. Ooh, production for towards builders. Um, 
What I might do, wait a second, now can't I do, just do this? Boom, purchase the tile now that I have the money. Uh, and then change my government. Yeah, that worked. Because it would never have been a value of 104. Like, that would not have happened. Um, so, ooh, great scientist points. I like that. But let's go with extra housing. Let's get it out of the wild card slot. This is going to somewhat help the capital a little bit more. So that sounds good. First envoy you send to each city state counts as two. Okay, so that's what we want to do. And unit maintenance, yeah, unit maintenance has to be down. Okay, so of course, we got to go Islam, baby. We got to go Islam. So this is our founder belief. Looks like there is not much in terms of uh, our founder beliefs. Jeez, yeah, most things have been taken. Amenities in cities with two specialty districts. That would be really nice. That would be pretty be nice. There's nothing that's really going to help faith all that much. Relics have triple yield. No. Shrines and temples each provide housing. Oh, you know what? That's not bad either. Uh, production percent towards each follower. That is not that much. I mean, let's say we have 10 followers. 10% more to production. Uh, that's a late game thing that I like. But I don't know if we, we would have a lot of amenity issues. I think we're going to have housing issues. We're having housing issues now. Maybe this is good simply because I don't know where we're... Yeah, I think we should go with the amenities because we're having amenity issues now and India's going to... That, that penalty is only going to be worse and worse. As we, I think, as I think, as we go through the eras, it gets worse and worse to be at war with Gandhi, and we got to go with mosques. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So these builder and these buildings cost like way less or something like that. As Saladin, is that how you pronounce my my leader's name? Okay. So we're gonna find this religion. We boost the theology as well. And uh, you are screwed now. So you've made a horrible, horrible mistake. And hopefully, we make you pay for it. I've got another another boat coming in two turns, and I can go for the range boats in, geez, nine turns. That's even boosted, too. And even with this awesome, you know, uh, thingy over here. So how bad is it? Or do we have to wait? Yeah, see, look at this. Negative four amenities. That's what I'm saying. That's bad. So maybe I went with the right, the right choice to boost the amenities. I'm hoping so. I mean, yeah, I, I guess. I guess so. We have two specialty districts, so it would be five right now. That sucks. Okay, w wait a second. Where the hell did all the elephants go? <laughs> Where did all the elephants go? That's really freaky. Um. Okay, what? wait. What happened here? Okay, first of all, you need to switch spots. Everyone stay here along the coast because this is, like, amazing. If anyone comes, like, they're totally dead. Well, kind of. Kind of. So, maybe this is starting to wrap up? Possibly? Ugh! No. Not yet. Okay, well, I think the number one priority is to get this builder out, improve the furs. That will help out our relationship with Montezuma quite a bit. Um, if I send him over a trade... Declared friend, declared friend. Jeez. If I send him over a trade route, that would also help. Um, but our relationship is not doing too well. Negative six because of... Probably the amenity thing, because I have amenities that he does not have. Two, two. So we'll get a big boost if we get furs online. This game has just been the most tense game by far I've ever had in Civilization VI. There has not been a turn where I, I have felt comfortable, I guess, because the Aztecs have just, sit, just sat all these units by my borders. And uh, I, luckily, I think we kind of have a grip over India. But if he's not willing to give us a peace deal, then our amenities are, are going to pretty much drag the population into the ground and we won't be able to grow and it's going to be terrible all around. So that's not good. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.